Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heather's Kitchen in Northern Alberta. It's so nice to see you again. I really do appreciate you stopping by. Are you having fun with the contest? I hope so. I know I'm having a blast. And thanks for taking the time to come and watch my video when I know you've got your own videos to be making. We're cooking Mafalda today. These are Mafalda noodles. Mafalda is a very specific dish. I'm going to reinvent it with Philadelphia cream cheese. Narrow lasagna noodle. That's all it is. Can you see that okay? Just beautiful. These are ready to come out of the boiling water, so I want to get on that before they're mush. All right, let's get started. One whole package of cream cheese. I was going to use... It's just water. Maybe you didn't see that. Now you're wondering what? Huh? Anyway, garden vegetable. I was going to use the herb and garlic, but it was in the fridge, and somebody ate it. I'm not sure. This is going to make enough for probably four people, five people. I'm going to have it for lunch and then for supper and maybe for a midnight snack. I want to add a little bit of olive oil to my noodles just so that they don't stick together. Oh, oh it's so beautiful. These are fun noodles to eat too. You think spaghetti's fun? Just wait till you try these. I have my burner on low. All I'm interested in doing is melting all of my ingredients together for my sauce. Fresh. I found beautiful fresh parsley. Half a cup of it. Two teaspoons of my fabulous garlic. Not shy about how I do my garlic. If you haven't seen it, you've got to see it. Half a cup of chopped green onions. Half a cup of bacon chopped, fried and chopped. Or chopped and fried. You could do it either way. Quarter of a cup hot banana peppers. Mm -mm. Oh, this is the treat. This is the candy in the dish. These are commercially processed, so when you go to take them out of the jar and the pickle juice, make sure that there's no stems in there, and then just give them a little chop up. One cup of diced, fresh mm, zucchini. Mm, we have loads of this in the summer, in the garden. Who doesn't? And a half a cup of chopped red peppers. You put that all in there. Juice from a half a lemon. Uh, get it all out of there. Sometimes the lemons are a little on the dry side. This is not too bad. Get some limes once that not a drop. Not a drop of juice came out. This one's good. Look at that, only one seed. Sometimes it's 400 seeds. Let's stir that together. It is beautiful. It is vibrant. It is absolutely delicious looking. I don't really want to cook it. I like my vegetables raw. Everything is cooked. It doesn't need to cook and become mushy. I want to add a little bit of salt. This is the coarse salt. Just a little bit. And then we're going to add our Mafalda noodles. About 300 grams of pasta. We're going to add that back to the sauce. I'm turning it off because it doesn't need to cook. And now, I just want to give it a toss. Oh, oh this looks so good. I buy my Mafalda at one of those big box stores. And when I bring it home, seriously, it's in a box that's probably close to three feet long. 
I just break it in half and put it in one of those great big baggies. Can you imagine twirling a piece of spaghetti on your fork that was three feet long? I don't think so. So what would go perfect on this? Fresh cracked black pepper. Yes. And if I had half a clue where my pepper grinder was, I'd put some on. But I don't. So I won't. Pop that in the serving dish. Oh, that is my kind of food. I smell the bacon. Absolutely wonderful. That needs a little white. And I have my teeny tiny grater. <laughs> Isn't it cute? This is the most adorable little grater I've ever seen. Let's put on, not a lot, just a little bit of fresh parmesan cheese. <gasps> Yum! Oh, I can hardly wait. I know what I have. I have some more of that fabulous green chopped parsley. Mm -mm. Put it all on. Why not? And there you have it. There is my mumfalza. So there is our beautiful Mumfalda pasta with Philadelphia cream cheese. And just for the top of it, I want a few drips of lemon juice and I want a little bit of pepper. Oh, so pretty.